Hi everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. In this video we're going to cover uh, what we call balance points, where the weight is positioned through our feet. Now we all hear terms like you've got too much weight through your toes, too much weight stuck in your heels. Now what does this really mean? Uh, well first of all, if I'm in posture, so this is my golf posture, I am essentially wanting to rotate around the spine back and forth and that's the golf swing, it's a rot rotary motion. Now, if I have too much weight positioned in the toes, and I'm going to exaggerate this for the purpose of the video, like so, I'm always fighting falling forward. So my concern in the downswing is going to be to not fall forward. And to be able to counter this, uh, this position here, I'm going to start to actually thrust my hips forward and just try to pull the chest back as quick as possible. So, there's going to be a lack of rotation from trying to regain balance. So way too far on your toes is going to force you to stand and lift. Too much weight in the heels can actually create multiple issues as well. Number one, if I've got weight in the heels, it pushes my hip line back. It creates this false space. I can start to get really, really close to the golf ball. So this can produce some heel strikes. Number two, if I am in the heels and I'm not aware of it and I swing back, my weight is going backwards like so, as I fall over, and I'm then going to start to push aggressively through the knees and the hips to try to uh, recenter that balance. And again, that's a lacking that rotary element to the golf swing. So I'll be standing and I will not be rotating. So we want to find that dynamic position where our armpits, our kneecaps and our balls of our feet are all matched up. This gives me that position where I can feel quite loose and uh, rotary in the hips and kind of swiveling. The old greats used to talk about, I think it was Ben Hogan, about the ball on the swivel chair. So moving the swivel chair back like so with the uh, glutes. But I can't really do that from here. And I can't really do that from here. I feel a lot more restricted. Two ways you can go about finding that center point. Number one, using some uh, balance discs, like so, standing on them. When we get students here in the studio here at Ruff doing this, they struggle straight away. They will find where they tend to go. So the heel player is kind of always falling backwards, like so. So I will encourage them to find the balls of the feet flex the knees over the toes, chest over, find that goalkeeper's stance, like so. Sometimes use the analogy of the skier in the heels because the skis are gonna slide out from underneath them. So finding that balance point and then getting them to create this rotary element like so. The second way we can do that is to just use a folded up towel or a cool noodle and again, the same thing through the arches, finding where you tend to sit and just focusing on this swiveling motion. If you can do that, you can train on one of the uh, uh, training aids there, then move back into your shots, finding knees and balls and feet lined up, rotating the hips, feeling that dynamic position. And then feel where you are positioning them through the shot. You're going to have a lot more consistency, a lot more uh, look at being able to rotate in balance. So I hope that makes sense. Nice and quick today. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like this uh, video and would like more information, more tips, then like and subscribe and I'll keep them coming.